Sinatra. Board for Yusuf. A terrible uh, forward kick, though. Tomas does not earn us anything. However, we have earned a corner. This corner might be something for us. Aiming for the giant man standing in front. Pedro. Nope, we're aiming for the giant man standing in the back. Of course, has no idea how tall the goal is, even though he spends his entire life playing this game. Now then, it's their turn again. Jamie dropping back to Wellington. Walk forward. Natra, lucky, lucky, lucky dog. Oh my goodness, that was just a stupid amount of luck all combined together. Natra barely running inside, running forward, barely getting... Oh my a horrible pass. Got, grabbed it. Jumped forward, surrounded by three people, gets the cross off, and just so happens to find the guy in the center who's not offside because the guy on the right, and then bounced off the crossbar just luckily into the net. Five shots this game! That our players have sent straight at the keeper's face. Not left, not right. Right at his face. We will be destroying... They're in last place in division. And we should be destroying them. But instead, we're losing this match. Because our players don't know there's more space than just right in front of the keeper's nose. Okay. Hey, with the game's in hand, the only one that we might be able to come up beyond is 10th place, but it's unlikely. Even the guy, even the, we'll probably go back down to 12, but. <laughs> what I mean? What I mean. Okay. Dominated possession, however. Natra to Pedro, Pedro, cross. Natra, cross. Galapo, cross. Three oper they were ahead of their man three times. With three people in the center they could have passed it to. Instead they just fiddle about on the right side until eventually a shot really wasn't possible. Okay, what in the world? How did we not get a penalty for that one? Come on, team. Pedro, no, but Martin got it. Martin. Forward. Cross it. No, he's gonna bounce it way up in the sky. Oh my goodness, Ivo! Yes! That was such a nonsense goal. What the heck was that? Five people standing around and Ivo just Apalazzo just hits it with his foot. Bounce way up here. Everybody's on the case. But no one. I guess Ivo, except for Ivo, was ready to uh, do anything with how that ball was landing. The goalkeeper just, that was poor. Poor by the goal. Uh, pleased. Looking forward to working with him. Who would have thought I'd be happy when I could get rid of a release clause that I didn't know even existed. Especially one that was way beneath his value. If you want to pay for him, you can pay the 10 million he's worth, not the not good value that it was considering. New guy there. I'm really disappointed that we didn't get that other guy. But we un we underpaid him. Someone else was willing to come in and give him a better offer. So it's really fair enough that he ended up going to sign with them. Pointed because I really wanted him. How did they do, by the way? Down to championship. All groups. E oh my goodness, they actually won first place. Even without me, they did incredibly, incredibly well. Yeah, that's great to see. How did the promotion stage go? Apparently, they did not do well in the promotion stage. <laughs> Admittedly, they were up against Sporting, so that was two losses pretty handily head did to them, but... Uh, a great result for the year for the team I was previously with. Didn't think they had it in them. They were able to come out and do incredibly well. We're paying him 6k a week to send on our... Oh my. Explains why our team was struggling so much if we were paying our backup goalkeeper that much to not even... Well, I guess he... No, no, he didn't play. Play for us at all. Because when we were... The only time we needed him, he had already been injured for the entire season. Six k a month to break his leg and do rehab on us for the rest of the year. That's not a great deal. Oh, next month. Then it goes through December. Oh, okay. I understand. They just have a stupidly densely packed schedule. They combine like 40 games in six months. Seems like hell. That does seem like hell. 
thank goodness we actually have way less games and a much longer period of time to play them because my players would be throwing their bodies if that was the case. No intention of selling him, but I'm very happy with the deal we got. What? There is a glorious smell. Drop. I don't know what someone is cooking. It is wafting into my bedroom, and it is oh immaculate. I, it's not helping my whole hunger situation I've got going on. But whatever it is, after the stream, I'm going to go and probably eat some. Pika switch to Brighton for ten million. Juventus else. Baron complete switch to grid. Okay. In the menu load last game and load the most recent. I do know how that works. Very self-explanatory. Why there was a need to explain that one. I guess if some people are incapable of reading, it'd be difficult to play this game if you're incapable of reading. I'll say that much. Turn everything on automatic, but you can't do that, of course. You know how to read. So, who knows? Who knows? Small bone, over the top. And Rosselli to Wellington. Rosselli to Petcha. Small bone. You gotta know that that man was made fun of constantly when he was younger. My goodness, that is not a very fortunate last name. Amy Wellington, Sally Smallbone, Blanca, Brown, trying to figure out what we want to do with it. The answer is back, Panatra, Blanca over the top now. Pedro tries to chase on with that one, but he's not quite quick enough. It bounces off weirdly. Apalazzo scores! That was kind of a freak of a goal. But a combination of our team working together off a misplay by the opponents. Another look at that one. Pedro not fast enough to catch up to it, but he blocks the ball with his face, it looked like. Jamie heads the ball down, and we just score quite easily. Great job, team. I think we just... The problem with the striker is we've hit a break point where we can get players of about our ability for a bit, by spending a, a fair amount of money. The problem is we're not going to find any players who are a step up beyond them just because we, we have nothing. We don't have the money to get them in. So, we're going to continue to struggle over and over and over again until eventually someone finally decides to bite the bullet and realize, hey, those guys are actually a pretty good side. And decide to come with us and play. Just trying to find a diamond in the rough. Turns out, doing that is a bit rough. Get down and dirty if you want to find one. Okay, I said they play about 10 minutes, and 10 minutes is what they're going to play. Have it Jamie now. Over the top, Wellington Tim to Apolazzo. A very perfectly executed set piece. One to another. I thought Wellington was going to shoot it himself. So did the goalkeeper and all the defenders, apparently. But no, he set up perfectly for Apolazzo. Had that ball in. Hey, okay, great team effort. Ever. Pedro's having a bad game. Everyone else doing okay. Petcha, Ivo, Ivo intercepted. We win the ball back, Ketcha, Maka, Smallbone, Rosselli, over the top for Wellington. Plenty of options in the center, but he goes at it alone. The goalkeeper just stood there stunned. That giant of a man going to shoot the ball. I don't know why. I guess everyone expected him to cross, considering the fullback. He should be crossing and not shooting. They just looked around and thought, you know what? Sleeping on the job. Let's just try this. Right over his head, the keeper did nothing but look up and go, oh, wait, that was a dumb idea. Thanks for watching. You should watch another. Please.